Hello everybody and welcome to Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. I'm Jack and today I'm here with round 5 or week 5 of the OPOP League. Um, just recording a little intro as I did last week, just uh, as the games were um, played yesterday. But I wanted to at least do a little intro because I didn't get a chance in the video to go through the decks that I chose. Uh, this week was Theme Deck Week, it was our first sort of alternative format week. Uh, we're not just playing standard, so each player had to bring theme decks instead of standard decks. Um, any theme decks were allowed, it wasn't just the ones uh, of sets in standard, any theme decks were legal. Uh, but I think in general, as you'll see from a lot of the different content creators, a lot of uh, players chose the same ones because as you go through time, uh, obviously power creep means that these decks get stronger and stronger. Uh, so the three I chose, the first one was, whoops, I didn't mean to clone it. I meant to, actually this is gonna be a, this would be a good way of showing it uh, when my computer decides to load. The three I chose were Soaring Storm, uh, which was the Dragonite deck, uh, Relentless Flame, which is the Charizard deck, and Torrential Cannon, which is the Blastoise deck. Um, obviously, I've been playing a lot of uh, random uh, theme deck tournaments for the Back to Basic series. Um, and by far, this deck has been my favourite. This is the only deck I've actually played, but in play I've played against all of the other decks pretty much. And this seems by far the strongest. Um, so yeah, this was my first deck built around, well, built around this Dragonite mainly. Um, but Tornadoes and Thunderous are just insanely efficient basics to attack uh, with. Alolan Grimer collects for two, uh, for two for no energy, which is a really, really strong setup Pokemon in the theme deck format. And then you also have Lightning, uh, Lantern as an extra Lightning attacker. So yeah, this was deck number one. Um, let me go back over to theme decks. Deck number two, this was the second deck, Relentless Flame, built around Charizards, Continuous Blaze Ball and Roaring Resolve, as well as uh, Nidoqueen. This is widely considered uh, the best or the second best deck in the format. I think it's entirely because of this Rapidash's agility attack. Uh, basically, it gives you immunity on a coin flip, so um, you can really, really buy some turns with that. Uh, things like Kukui and stuff like that can mean that you can get KOs out of nowhere, and uh, Power Lariat can do a huge amount of damage as well. So yeah, this was the second deck I played, or the second deck I brought. And finally, Torrential Cannon was the third deck that I brought. Um, Mainly for the Golduck the re was the reason that I brought it. Uh, Swim one-shots a Charizard, but also if any of your opponent's Pokemon have Water Energy attached to them, you can do a 90 Snipe to those Pokemon uh, instead of the active. So Golduck is really, really good against both of the best two decks, in my opinion. Um, and as such, I decided to bring this as my third deck, expecting a lot of people to bring Dragonite and Charizard. Uh, so yeah, I was against Celio's Network, Luke Morsa from Celio's Network, uh, and I've included the games after this, so other than that, thank you very much for watching. I've been Jack from Omnipoke, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Enjoy the games. Okay, game one here, we've got Soaring Storm Mirror. It's fairly unsurprising. Um, I've played a bit of theme deck format on the Back to Basic series so far, so I know a little bit about this format. We won the coin flip, which is pretty big, because uh, we get to evolve first. I feel I feel fairly okay with uh, some of these decks. Feel, feel fairly familiar with some of these decks. Um, this, in my opinion, is by far the strongest of the theme decks, so I'm not surprised we already have a mirror here. Okay, hand isn't great, but we have energy plus Cynthia, so we can at least potentially threaten a turn 3 tornado, which is really big. We really want to find Dratini next turn though, looks like uh, he's found a Dratini, no matter what, excuse me, there's a Dratini there. Okay, so he is going to have priority. Wow, he chose to calm before the how. How could have drawn him this card? So that so why did he want to calm the calm the card back in? Because if how had drawn him this card, he could have saved the calm Pidgey to either put the Pidgey down or to find another Pokemon. Um, interesting. 
I'm not sure why he conned before the how there, but regardless. Attaching to the Dratini as well, okay. Uh, we hit the Dragonite, we can draw. If we draw into Com, we're really happy because we already have the Dragonite pieces. Uh, but I think I want a Cynthia. So 50-50 to draw four. We want to see... We already have the Dragonite pieces, so Dratini is a good draw. Uh, but, we also, but we also want to see Pidgeotto. So I'd rather see six fresh cards, I think. Um, hoping to find the Pidgeotto. We actually somehow got a worse hand. That's really bad. That's abysmal. We can attach and Lily for at least one. There's a fan club from our opponent. Okay, he's got the busted basics. If he doesn't see a Dragonair this turn... Oh, okay, here comes a Dragonair. Could have lost the mirror already. I think we're already far enough behind to have, to potentially have lost this mirror. We need a very, very big turn next turn. Sundress is a good draw. Um... Committing to this Tornadus is so bad, but we need to find something here. He's just going to knock us out next turn. Honestly, I wouldn't even dislike finding a Grimer here. I think it's still my best play. We're dead drawing so badly. I actually think we've already lost. Um, theme deck format is all about tempo, and he's about to take so much tempo here. So much tempo. Gets to attack for free. If he has a Dragonite, this is over. All because we Cynthia it into a pretty bad hand. Yeah, he hit Dragonite. I'm pretty sure we're done. We can bench Dratini. We have Dragonair. We're going to have to promote this Pidgey and just... Sack a couple of prizes here. Uh, I, wanna, I think we need to take the guaranteed three rather than the risky four. What else do we need to see here? Switch plus Grimer would be perfect. Maybe we do have to take the risky four. Maybe we're far enough behind that we have to risk it. We did hit it, which is good. We still have barely any basics, though. My computer's frozen, but I think we should have got the evolution in before it froze, so we should still be able to airmail this turn. Okay. So we have to take the Pidgey. We feed him a Pidgey. How does this happen? How do we ever win this game now?
He's out of supporters. No, he's not out of supporters. At the moment, the only thing going for us is the fact that we have a draw engine. The only thing going for us is the fact that we have a draw engine. And we don't even have a draw engine anymore. So we can attach and we can find a Grimer here. Grime would force him to attach another energy. We knock out, he knocks out. So we have to find, we have to find, um, what's it called next turn? We have to find Dragonite next turn. There's no two ways about it. I think we actually have to grind with this turn. What else do we have in here? So we do have both of our Dragonites. I think we're probably going to need both of our Dragonites in all honesty. There's no gusting, so everything on our bench is safe. If he doesn't knock out the Grimer, we could be in an okay spot. We can bench the Dratini, attach here, and then Tate and Liza and hope we find Dragonite plus two energy. But that feels like it's a rough play no matter what. So he does attach the energy. He has so much advantage on us though. As if we dead drew off of that. So we need to find Dragonite here. Okay, we found Dragonite. Ideally, we need to find other energy as well. So we're going to have to shuffle this Dragonair back in. In the hopes that we can draw one off of the Pidgeotto. So we have seven outs to, energy, to Lightning Energy, which is the one we want to see. Okay, we hit Lightning Energy. That's really good. This is like bare minimum what we needed to stay in this game. We're still going to need to find two energy next turn, but it's still possible. Um, I think I'm going to target the Chinchow. I don't want to target here because this would just die to a Thunderous. But everything else on the board just dies to a Tornadus. But if he's Tornadusing ever, it shouldn't matter too much. And this is more likely to evolve soon, I think. So let's target the Chinchow. We might be too far behind no matter what. In all honesty, Tornadus is not a good card, but it does open Com up. There's no good Com outs though. Have we used both Coms anyway? We've used both Coms anyway. The Pidgey promotion means he has a switch. Putting the Grimer down means, yeah, there's the switch. Digging for energy, so he wants to Raging Thunderous back. It's pretty intense. Oh, I hit it. So now he has Dragonite for our Dragonite. So we need to find our own Dragon. Uh, we need to find second Dragonite. So we need to find Dragonair plus two energy this turn. Off of a two card dig. We have a fair few supporters.
now my computer's frozen again. Hopefully we can promote this Dragonite before it DCs me. So we're really going to need to find a supporter here pretty quickly. Okay, Lily is a supporter. Uh, do we need all six of these cards? Really, we need Thunderous. But we can't... We've used our Switch, right? Yeah. So we can never get a Thunderous out this turn. We can never get two more Dragonairs out, but I think I have to play this Dratini down just to draw more cards. We need to hit two energy here at least, and Dragonair. Uh, or do we need to hit three energy here? Uh, this technically works because we have Lantern. So we can Hurricane Charge 2 on. Dragon Impact for the KO. He's going to knock us out with his Dragon Impact. Uh, so we really are reliant on him missing cards here. That's a three card hand. I think we've pretty much lost this game because we sent it into somehow a worse hand. Maybe it was the wrong play. Hmm. So he's going to Dragonite Dragon Impact. We need to set up another... So we need to set up this Lantern this turn. Wow, he's attaching active. Attaching active, is, I think, is brave. Because at the moment, Lightning Strike knocks him out. Oh, okay. So we attached to the bench anyway. So we've lost. Basically guaranteed, right? Unless he somehow misses an energy. Yeah, we've lost either way. Needs to miss an energy. We have to play to hitting the no Lantern Knockout into him missing an energy, though. So, let's do that. Yeah, we lose. We will go first game two, though. Hmm. So, do I take the same deck, or do I bring something new? Ah, he beat me to it. Um, we could take Soaring Storm, or we could take Relentless Flame. The likelihood is we're probably going to play against Relentless Flame, and I think Soaring Storm has a good matchup against Relentless Flame, so I'm going to bring Relentless Flame again. Oh, he brought uh, the Kyogre deck. The Kyogre deck is one of the decks that actually has a pretty good matchup against this deck, so we're probably out of this. But we'll try our best. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to really prioritize Dragonites here, because his Empoleon can stop us from attacking, uh, which is pretty good. We drew Dratini plus Water Energy. Um, I think I'll handle the comm next turn. I don't think... I I think I want to be reactive with the comm rather than uh, proactive. Because it could quite li quite simply be a comm for a um, Grimer. This is the deck that I've probably... Or one of the decks that I've... One of the best decks that I've played against the least, so I probably will be doing a fair bit of reading here. Call for Family, I would imagine. I think this is the Empoleon one, right? Because this is Cosmic Eclipse. Yeah, this is the Empoleon deck. So we're probably going to see some Piplups here. Yeah, so Piplup Bubble Hold if the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. Um, so yeah, very relevant to be able to deal with that quickly. 
I'm going to get a Grimer here. What else do we have? We have one Thunderous prized. Uh, we have a Dragonair prized. Two Dragonair prized. That's pretty bad. Uh, we have Energy Recycle System prized as well. So we have free retreat. Uh, I'm going to attach to the Dratini. Go with Cynthia. Hopefully find something. This is pretty bad. I don't know why we seem to be missing all of our Pokemon here. Hopefully collect draws us some. Nope. Okay. Using all the draw supporters really early is pretty bad because we want them uh, to stabilize late game. But we're probably going to have to Cynthia no matter what next turn just to keep us in the game. 2 for 80 is a pretty good amount, but nothing too scary. Okay, here comes the, the boy. Double print blurb, busted. So how can we do this with only one Dragonite? How do we do this with only one Dragonite? I don't know that we can do this with only one Dragonite, right? I guess we have to Lantern at least one of these. Oh, they're weak to Lightning, that's good. I thought they were weak to Grass. Weak to Lightning is good. So we need to find some Chinchows. So next priority is Chinchows, I guess. Um, I'm going to Cynthia at first because I want to find better cards than this. Come on, game. I guess I take this just to try and find a second bird to draw through my deck more. I don't want to put the Tornadus down because it's never really getting used. Chinchows, Dragonites. How is at least good. Okay, this is going to be where things get difficult. Um, this is going to be where things get real difficult. Oh, this has the snipe. Oh, okay, we, it's lo it, we, we've lost. It's over. I actually can't win now. We need to set up double Chinchow this turn. We can set up one. We can't put a Chinchow down until we can put two Chinchow down because he can just snipe one every turn. No, but this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Yeah, we missed Dragonite, so we lost. Too old. I don't even know how we can... Use the attack that stopped me from attacking, right? Bubble hold. So we have to do this. We have to put Chinch out and Thunderous down at once. And attach to the Thunderous. How, ah, uh, this is awful. Oh, as if I prized second Dragonair in this matchup. So we have to put Chinchow and Thunderous down at once. And attach to the Thunderous. If he bubble holds us to avoid getting knocked out by the Thunderous next turn, we have... 
a lantern set up and then when he knocks this out then he can't knock this out okay so yeah this is what we have to do uh spin storm doesn't really work because basically he has another one set up no matter what uh, and we can't ever attach three energy like because we have no dragonite basically because we have a, no dragonite i'm pretty sure this is over but wait what Should that have let me do that? He used Bubble Hold, right? Oh, if the defending Pokemon is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it knocked me out. It knocked me out. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine, because we can just retreat out here. Okay, this is fine. Uh, we can still knock this out, as long as he doesn't knock out this tornado, which means he's going to snipe this this turn. Oh, he sn sniped the bird. Okay, that makes sense. So he plans on using Bye Bye Throw to knock out the Thunderous. I'm pretty sure we prized second Thunderous as well, right? Our prizes have been awful this game. We prized Dragonair. Hmm. It's pretty bad. So yeah, he plans on using Bye Bye Throw next turn. I see, I see. Whoops, we had a we had a follow whilst I was recording. Um, so he uses bye bye throw. How do we knock that out? Has a hundred HP. We can't really knock this out, so we have to give him two prizes. So he's going to be down to one prize, and he can just snipe something. My computer's frozen, I have no idea what's happening. This sucks. Can't ever put Dratini down. Because he can just snipe it with this guy. Yeah, this is over. That's a shame. Oh well. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Jack from Omnipoke, and I look forward to seeing you guys in next week's Omni League.